everyone, Erin here from Queen of Ants and today uh, we are going to assemble one of our palace series Waitong ant farm nests. So this is an example of the nest. When you first get your nest it should look something like this. So all of the acrylic pieces will have a protective film on both sides. So you'll have the main nest part with the red cover. You'll also have a pack of acrylic pieces that looks a little bit like this. And you should have a little bag of all the bits and pieces and a small Allen key as well. So when it first, arri first arrives, what you need to do is peel the protective film off of each of these pieces, both sides. On the main nest, you've got the red shield to peel and also use your Allen key to unscrew these little bolts Take this top acrylic piece off and peel the film off both sides of that before putting that back on with your Allen key. That way it's all nice and clear. So once you've done that, you'll have all your pieces laid out similar to this. So you've got your red shield, your main nest area with the white on nest, uh, four clear acrylic sides. You'll have two with entry exit holes and then two with uh, vents. These two pieces are the same. You'll have some roof pieces and then all of your nuts and bolts and accessories. So the first step is to take the acrylic wall piece with the large entry hole and the two ventilation slits at the top there. This is the front piece and what we're going to do is going to take it and insert it into the little gap here. And it should be a nice snug fit so make sure that pops down and then that hole will line up with the entry hole on the nest like so. Then we're going to take our two side pieces. These are both the same and they go on either side. Now what you want to make sure is that this extra hole here inserts towards the front of the nest and that lines up with this part here where we'll connect it with a little bolt. So insert that side and the other side down there and you've got three sides sitting in there. Then what we want to do is take the last bit which has an exit hole as well so it is an expansion port uh, and slot that in there as well. Now it might be a nice tight fit that's what we want so just use a little bit of force not too much that you're going to actually snap it. And then you have all four sides inserted. The next uh, step that we're going to do is to fill in this expansion hole here. Uh, so what we need to do is grab these two pieces. So one has some little nuts and the other has this section. This part goes on the outside and this part goes on the inside. And to attach this, we're going to use two of the longer bolts that you have. So you have a whole heap of shorter ones and you'll have a few longer ones as well. So take two of the longer ones, place this section onto the outside of the nest and just line the bolts up and through the acrylic holes like so. And then take this section with the nuts and place it inside the outworld and line it up so the little bolts pop through. It can be a bit tricky, a bit fiddly. Once you get that lined up, just hold it there and use your Allen key just to gently tighten them up. So tighten them up just so they're firm. You don't want to over tighten and risk cracking any of your pieces. Just so it's nice and firm. And once that piece is on, you'll have a, uh, two pieces. You can either use this piece to insert, to attach to a tube if you're wanting to move your ants or use the plug initially just to block the hole. And that feeds in like so. Next, we're gonna fix these two points together. So what we need for these is another of the longer bolts. And you should have two nuts with some 3D printed material on them, like so. We're going to use these for the side bits. 
So insert the bolt from the outside, line up the nut on the inside, and then you can use your Allen key to tighten that up. And we're going to do the same again, one of the longer nuts, uh, bolt, a nut with 3D printing, and we'll gently tighten that up. You may need to hold that nut with some pliers if you can't get that tightened up fully. Next, uh, we're going to move on to these top corner pieces to hold your outwheel nice and steady. And you'll have four of these corner pieces. So there's two nut threads on that side and then you'll notice on the top there is one and on the bottom there is not. So this blank side needs to face down because this is where the roof will attach to. So make sure that that thread is facing up and then we hold one into the corner, take a short bolt and gently do that up on one side. You can just gently nip it a little bit and then align your second side before doing it up fully. Just tighten them up. That'll make our outworld nice and secure. So we're going to go ahead and do that for each corner. Making sure that that thread is facing up. Once that's done, it's time to put the roof on. So we're going to take this acrylic piece here, place that on top, and then we simply attach that with another short bolt. So you can, again, just gently nip them in to start with so that you, oops, that one escaped, uh, to line up all of your bolts with the thread. And then once they're lined up, we'll tighten all of them up. Okay, so we're getting close now have all of that fixed in place. Next we're going to put together the actual removable roof section. So you will have two roof parts like this. They look very similar but one is slightly bigger and one is slightly smaller. So place them together and we're going to use the last uh, longer screw bolts and this handle section. So what we're going to do is feed this bolt through the handle section so that it's recessed and comes out that end. And then keeping the smaller section of your uh, lid facing downwards, you want the nut to be on the top coming in from the larger size down to the smaller size. See if you can feed that through both pieces. 
and then use the plain nut to fix that in place. Again, it's a little bit fiddly, but get it all lined up and then use your Allen key to gently tighten it. Just tighten it gently and then just make sure that your lid pieces are straight and that's going to, going to ensure that it sits on your ant farm nicely. Once you've got it straight, just tighten it up a little bit and then you'll have your lid piece made. And it should sit nicely on there with your red cover. And then your ant farm is ready to go. Now in the out world, you can add some sand, a little bit of sand, some food and water, uh, and that's ready to go. There is a water reservoir within your nest here, and we can fill that up with a little syringe from this water point here. So keep that topped up for ventilation. Ensure that your ants have a second water source in the outworld and you're ready to go. See you guys.